Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Good morning. What's up, guys? It is 8:37 in the morning on Wednesday, May 4. T15th. 15th. Today's a special day, kinda. First things first. Don't want watermelon. Cherry limeade. That's what's gonna get the day started. Or continue the day. I guess the day's already started, right? <laughs> Anyways, mix a little bit up with this guy. I'm gonna head to the gym real quick and then I'm going. Lighting in here kind of sucks. It's a little bit better. And then I'm headed to a car dealership to test drive a car that I might buy. The dealership just got the car like four days ago, I think. So they don't even have any, all they have is like the stock photo. So they don't have actual pictures of the car. All I know is it's like a black metallic exterior with like a, what does it say, like pure red interior. It's a Mini Cooper Countryman S. All four, which is exactly what I want. 2016 low miles. So I think it's like 45 minutes away. I'm gonna drink this, hit the gym real quick, and then head that way. Might even trade in the Green Beast outside if I like it as much as I think I'm going to. So uh, I'm excited. I'm optimistic, but I'm trying to keep like my expectations somewhat even so I don't have like a huge letdown once I get there and like I said there's no pictures yet because they just got the car in so I don't want to get there and the car looks like crap and then I'm super disappointed but we're gonna find out either way so let's get this day started Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your. Now that we're all shaken up, not stirred, and ready to go, once again, crappy lighting. This little new camera setup I got going on with the new camera, which I'm finally starting to use, is quite a bit heavier than the old iPhone 8 Plus or whatever it is. It's gonna take some getting used to, but uh, I'm gonna figure it out. So if you guys notice a little bit of shakiness, it's because everything's just a lot heavier and I'm holding it with one hand. So it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but uh, so far, so good. I like it. I think the picture looks better. I think the audio definitely sounds better. So all good so far. Well, that did not go exactly as planned. I went to the dealership, I checked out the Mini, the Mini Cooper Countryman S all four, which is what I want. I'm like, I wanna say 95% sure. I'm like 75% sure that's gonna be my next car. But uh, the one I went there for, it was supposed to be the exterior color, it said was a, uh, hold on, let me back this seat up a little bit. It said the exterior color was supposed to be absolute black metallic. They didn't have any pictures because they just got the car in a couple days ago. They hadn't even like washed it or anything when I got there and it took them a while to find it. That's besides the point though. But uh, and then it said the interior color was pure red. So like I said, they had just got the car in. They didn't have any pictures of it. All they had was like a stock photo of like a basic black uh, Mini Cooper. They probably like grabbed off Mini site or something. But it said exterior, metallic black, interior, pure red leather so I was like I like uh, the black and red combo I love that in cars so I was like alright that sounds like a pretty good color combination I'm gonna go check it out I get there took them like 30 minutes to find the car because it was like in the overflow lot or something and like I said they hadn't washed it yet so they rinsed it off real quick they brought it up so I could check it out first thing I noticed open the door doesn't have red interior it has black leather interior which still isn't bad I was hoping it would have black rims because 
I think it goes a lot better with a black exterior. Unfortunately, the rims were like the basic gray color and they were like the basic rims, which, so not my favorite. Uh, the car was all right. I wasn't a huge fan of this, so I really want the all four, which means it's a four wheel drive. So I asked him if they had any more and uh, the guy busted out his phone real quick and he showed me a couple, I think they had like two other Mini Cooper Countryman S all fours. One of them was silver, which I liked. I like that one better than the black one too. And then the other one was like a black, or it was a it was a bright red, and it had black leather interior, and it also had like uh, black racing stripes, and then it had black rims. So that one was really nice. I liked it. Everything checked out. All right. So anyways, complete change of scenery. I had to cut off that last clip because I was late to pick up little man. So uh, now today's the next day. Today's Friday. Let me get back to the story though. They had this red one, like I described to you guys. Bright red, which I'm cool with. I like that color combo. It had like the black roof, it had I think black mirrors, black rims, um, sunroof, moonroof. It was the S Country Man, so that's the turbocharged one. That's the one I want. And it's the all four, which like I said, it's the four wheel drive, which is also the one I want. So those are like two necessities. It has to be the S and it has to be an all four. So they had three different ones. Black one isn't the one that I thought it'd be. So I was bummed about that. The silver one, um, I like the Mini Coopers that have, like they can be one color. I don't want white, but it's gotta be like the exterior color, but I, I always like when it has the black roof. So like has to have the black roof. I'm not cool with like ones that have the, where the roof matches the body color. I don't really like that. So anyways, the red one had the black roof. It had black racing stripes, which I think looked good. Everything looked good. The guy goes to get the car, disappears for like 30 minutes, comes back and says, uh, the car won't start. I'm like, oh God, here we go. It was already late, because instead of going earlier in the day, like I planned on going, I ended up doing it after I picked up Little Man from school. So by the time I got there, it was like six or 7 p.m. And they're supposed to close at nine, I think. And getting the black one originally, like I said, it was in like overflow lot or something because they just got it in. It wasn't washed or anything. So that one took like at least 30 minutes to get. And then the red one, he comes back, says the battery won't start. And I'm like, maybe it's just not meant to be. Well, finally, he, uh, they go out there. Actually, we by that time, my girlfriend had got there to meet us. Me and little man were there. So we all walked out to the lot to look at the red one. Because all I'd seen at that point was pictures. So I checked it out in person, I looked at like the interior, I was looking it over to make sure there was like no noticeable dents or scratches or anything. There was like a couple little nicks here and there, but for the most part, I didn't even see any door dings, so it was in pretty good condition. Uh, the paint looked good. I was cool with it, but I was a little sketched out about a car that wouldn't start, so I had no interest in buying that. They came out there with like a little jump starter, they jump started it, got the car to start, which is cool and all. That means I could test drive it, but I'm still not gonna buy a car that has a sketchy battery or might have like ignition problems or something. So I told to do that. I was like, that's my only concern. And uh, he's like, let me talk to my manager, see what I can do. Uh, they should be able to put a new battery. I was like, if they put a new battery, everything else about it, I like. So he took the car back. They put in a new battery, brought it back to me. I took it for a test drive. Uh, everything checked out. The only thing that was kind of sketchy about it was the brake pads definitely needed to be changed it was a northern car i think i think the car was from new york so the brakes were a little bit rusty the brake calipers were rusted so those definitely both need to be changed but i can do that myself for not that expensive and the car was pretty good dang this thing keeps moving the car was a pretty good deal to begin with so i was like all right um the price seemed right and they asked me if I had a trade-in. I said, yeah, they asked me what it was. I showed them the green beast. And then uh, the guy talked to, the guy that I was dealing with, who was a super cool dude, talked to his uh, uh, one of the appraisal guys. So the appraisal guy went outside, took about, I don't know, like 20 or so minutes to look at my car. And uh, in the meantime, I was talking to uh, the sales dude that I've been working with, and he was like, um, are you gonna wanna finance the car? And I was like, uh, or first he asked me if I, if I owned 
the Camaro or if I owed anything on it and I said I owned it it's paid off so he asked me if I would be wanting to finance the Mini Cooper and I was like uh, I was like it depends on what the appraisal value or the trading value is in my mind I was thinking like I know with a hundred percent certainty that my Camaro is worth more than that Mini Cooper. If you sold both of them at, in a private deal to like, you know, just any random schmo, the Camaro would sell for more than the Mini Cooper, 100% of the time. No question about it, it's definitely worth more. But I know for trade-ins, they're always gonna lowball you and give you a lot less than it's worth, especially with my car, because they're usually just gonna give you a, a little bit lower than the trade-in value, like the Kelly Blue Book trade-in value. They'll lowball that, but they're also never gonna pay you for any uh, any like extras that are on your car. Like my car's got, what's it have? It's got a supercharger kit, it's got custom Magnaflow exhaust, it's got uh, custom headers, I believe, it's got custom leather seats, it's got a uh, expensive lighting kit, it's got, I think it has a couple other things done to it too. So the dude that I bought the car from, or actually he traded in, I got it from a Jeep dealership. But the guy that originally owned the car put like 15 grand extra in the, into the car. Obviously I know I'm not gonna get that back when I sell it or when I trade it in. But if you trade it in, you're gonna get zero for all that stuff, zero. Whereas if you sell it to a private party, you know, you can sell for whatever you want. So I'm, I think it's, I had it listed for like 18 grand, which is definitely a steal. I bought it a couple years ago for 23, grand and I've only put I'll put less than definitely less than 10,000 miles on it in a couple years so hardly driven at all it's still in great condition um, so obviously I'm not expecting to get 23 but 18 is definitely a steal for what that car is um, so anyways <laughs> we fast forward the appraised dude finishes up he comes in I'm thinking a ballpark like if they offer me the Camar the uh, Mini Cooper was listed for they were selling for like sixteen nine and it had like I think it had like twenty four thousand miles on it or twenty seven it was really low mileage and it was a two thousand sixteen so it was selling for I think they had it listed for like sixteen nine so I was thinking if they were gonna offer me maybe like. 14 or 15 for my car, I might consider it. Boy, was I way off. Never in a million years did I think they would end up offering me what they did. Which, you guys ready for this? Drum roll, please. They offered me a grand total of five plus five, $10,000. And then the dude had the audacity to ask me if, if he should get started with the paperwork. I was like, no, you should not get started with the paperwork. I didn't even know what to say, man. I was speechless. I was, in my mind, I was like, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Like 10 grand? My car has like 38,000 miles on it. It's in excellent condition. It's a very rare car. It's a Synergy Green Special Edition. There wasn't very many of them made. And it has all those extras on it. And you got to offer me 10 grand? Are you kidding me? A stock car with a stock 2010 Camaro V6 with that amount of miles on it in the same condition, the Kelly Blue Book value is like 13 grand or something for a stock car. Not the Synergy Green Special Edition, just like a normal white colored Camaro or something. And they offer me 10 grand. Needless to say, it's a huge waste of time. I was there for at least three hours got absolutely nothing out of it i liked the mini cooper i got drive for test drive so i'm pretty sure that's probably what i'm going to end up with but i'm 100 not buying from that dealership after uh that low ball offer and i probably won't be trading in at this point i just relisted my car on like auto trader and car gurus and craigslist yesterday morning for like seven i think i relisted for like 17 grand which is a huge huge steal now Somebody's gonna get a really nice car for a really good deal. So if you're interested, you know anyone that wants a Camaro, uh, hit me up for more details. But at this point, I'm selling for 17 grand because I am ready for a new car and I'm willing to take 
a hit and get someone a good deal because I'm just ready for a four-door car at this point. I want a four-door car, I want a bigger car so I can start with doing more, taking advantage of more side hustle opportunities. There quite, there's quite a few things I have lined up but I just can't do them in my car. It's not possible. I don't wanna, it's just not gonna work. So I need a new car, I need something bigger and uh, I'm willing to you know, lose out on a couple brands that if I tried, you know, if I waited a little bit longer or I tried a little harder to sell it, I probably could make a couple extra grand. But I'm willing to let it go for cheaper so I can get a new car sooner. So I can, you know, take advantage of these side hustles that I've been wanting to do for a while. Whew. So anyways, guys, that's the moral of my story. Um, I thought about taking it to CarMax just for <laughs> giggles to see what they would offer me. I think I might still do that and make a video out of it and then I'll compare the two. I was going to name this dealership, maybe I still will, I don't know. I, that, that left a pretty sour taste in my mouth, so like I said, I probably won't be returning to them. Definitely probably won't be giving them any business, buying a Mini Cooper somewhere else and probably end up with that. But yeah, I might take my car to CarMax, like I said, just to see what they offer me. Can't imagine it'll be any worse than 10000 so so... Uh, should be entertaining nonetheless but anyways guys that's all i gotta say about that i'll uh quit rambling on about that i was excited because i thought i found something and i honestly thought i was gonna be driving home a new car tomorrow i felt pretty confident about it and then came the 10 grand low ball offer of doom and that's all she wrote so that's the end of that you gotta keep looking try and i'm really trying to sell my car now so we shall see i'll keep you guys updated anyways guys i was gonna make this a super long like hour long vlog because i have so much footage and i'm way behind on these vlogs i have i have like two hours of footage that i'm trying to turn into vlogs but uh i'm gonna save a lot of the other stuff for uh i guess future vlogs and i'm just gonna keep this one about the car talk so uh that's pretty much a wrap for the video a lot of you guys probably aren't too interested but keeping you up to date on the car plans because the thing that you may be interested in like i said is once i finally get this new car i will be doing a lot of new side hustles so i'm excited about that and a lot of you that are subscribed to me a lot of you that are tuned in to this channel that's the reason you probably watch my videos is for the food delivery stuff or the side hustle stuff. So I just want to keep you guys updated on that and let you know that a lot more of that is planned for the future. So the sooner I can get a new car, the better. Anyways, uh, I guess another thing I want to say is if you guys, maybe some of you out there work at like a mini dealership or maybe you know of some dealerships that might have a Mini Cooper Countryman S, all four that I'd be interested in. If you do or you got any pointers, please let me know. Or if you don't know anybody that wants or might be interested in my Camaro, let me know as well. I got two guys, one is very interested, one dude in New York, he's looking out flights right now, so I might be able to have this thing sold by next week. If that's the case, I really gotta hunker down and find a new Mini Cooper, because like I said, I will not be returning to that one dealership. Fool me once. Shame on, how's that, how's that saying go? There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. I don't know. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> Either way, uh, that's a wrap for this vlog. Sorry it wasn't too entertaining. I know I rambled a lot about my car, but uh, it's a big deal for me because of the reason I said I'm ready for a new car. I'm ready to start these new side hustles and I am ready to move forward, make some cheddar cheese, make some new content, get some uh, get some fresh new content to keep this channel exciting. I wanna put on, I really, really am looking forward to shooting some new content for these side hustles. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. It's nine in the morning. 82 degrees and sunny and beautiful outside so i am headed to the beach so for real this time that's a wrap for the video hope you guys enjoy what's left of your weekend thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video and as always 
Stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, are only make believe. Those